lesson today, I want to tell you guys a story so that we have a little lesson today, okay? So I want you guys to pay a, a good attention to this story because when I see you later, I'm going to ask you about what you learned and if you don't answer it, there's going to be a penalty. Okay? <laughs> today is the story about the goat who lost his head. So, but don't worry, it's only PG-13, so it's not going to be too dangerous. <laughs> okay. So, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, back in the old days, before technology, before iPhone, before computers, before cars, there was, a, there was a time when people would have many, many religions, so many religions, not just Christianity and Buddhism, but like the goat religion, the bird religion, the car religion, the, the cat religion, the rock religion, so many religions. And in those, some of those religions, they have some really crazy ideas. One of the most common crazy idea was, if you want to pray to your God, you have to go kill and offer an animal. So you find an animal and then you kill it, and then you offer that animal to your God, and then you'll become lucky. That's what they believe. Is that true? Does it work? We know better now, but back then they didn't know. So one day there was a priest who wanted to offer to his God. So he got a goat, he prepared a goat, a nice goat, and took the goat down to the river with his helpers. He said, go wash the goat so that the goat is clean and beautiful, so that when we kill it, it's a pure offering. That's what he thought. So the servants took the goat down to the river. At the river, they're washing the goat, they're washing themselves, they're changing their clothes, and they're looking very clean and, and pretty. That's what they thought. All of a sudden, the goat started laughing. Started laughing. Ha, 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 ha. The goat started laughing. So the servants looked at the goat and was amazed. Goats can laugh? They were very surprised. And then a few minutes later, the goat started crying. Started crying, tears coming down his face, no more laughter, just crying. And the servants were surprised again and said, this goat was laughing and now he's crying. Why? So they asked the goat, Mr. Goat, why were you crying? Why were you laughing? Why were you laughing? Why were you crying? And the goat said, I realized today that today is the day that I will die. And I realized that I've been a goat for 499 lives. And every life as a goat, I had my head cut off. And I remember why. Because 500 lives ago, I used to be a priest. And I killed a goat by cutting off his head. So my penalty was to be reborn as a goat 500 times to get my head cut off. And this is my 500th time. After today, I am finally, finally free. This will be the last time that you cut my head off. So the goat was laughing because he was so happy. And he says, then Mr. Goat, why were you crying? He said, well, I'm crying because you guys are about to kill me as an offering. So now all of you will become goats and get your head cut off 500 times. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for the pain that you have to endure. I feel sad for your karma. That's why I am crying. Well, the servants were so surprised, they took the talking goat back to the master and said, Master, Master, this is what Mr. Goat told us, and this is what happened. Well, when they told the master, the master started crying and said, I, I never knew that animals feel the same way humans feel. I never knew that animals also love their life and don't want to die. I never thought that my belief might be wrong. Hurting other people might be wrong. So the, the master said, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to protect you. Today, you will not die. I won't kill you and no one will kill you. And the goat smiled and said, funny master, it's impossible. When it's time for karma to take its work, when it's time for karma to show its results, Nothing, no one can stop it. And the master says, no, if I don't kill you and I keep you in my house and I protect you, nothing will hurt you, I promise. And the goat smiled and said, sure, try your best. So later in the afternoon, he has a whole army guarding the goat, said nothing can touch the goat. Well, the goat was hungry, so the goat just walked out a little bit to this field with a lot of rocks. Well, the goat saw some nice leaves and nice grass, so the goat bent over to eat the grass. Out of nowhere, a huge storm came out, and lightning said, boo, hit the rock, and the rock fell over, 
and cut off the goat's head. And so the goat died. And the people who were guarding the goat all screamed and said, How is this possible? How is this possible? At that time, there was an angel who was in the tree nearby. And this angel was very old and very wise. So the angel came out and gave a teaching to all the people there. He said, As long as we live to kill and to hurt, we will be killed and we will be hurt. Happiness will never be found for those who hurt others. Every living being that has ever been born loves his life, loves her life. They want to have a happy life. They want to have a good life. But if you kill and you hurt them, the response will be you get killed and you get hurt. So please value other people's lives like we value our own. Because life is very hard to find and it's very important to everyone. So the moral of this story is what? That we should respect the lives of everyone. Insects, animals, human beings. Don't hurt other people. Don't hurt each other. Because karma is real. And the penalty is very, very scary. <laughs>